all right in this video tutorial we are trying to look into some excel techniques of naming ranges we all can understand the excel is basically rows and column and all the intersect portion is called cell so like we can have lots of cells and these cells are actually our working area the, in the excel the working area we have is called worksheet whenever we are working with microsoft excel sometimes we need to refer to cell say if i am selecting this cell the cell reference is C3 and which can be appeared in the name box. Sometimes we need to work with the selection of cells which is called range. In this instance, like if we want to work with ranges, if we want to work with multiple cells, one of the techniques we should use is to naming the ranges and ranging name is absolutely crucial for us because in the latter classes we have to use this technique for other formulas and function naming in excel is crucial but it's not so tough in order to <coughs> name the excel range all we need to do we need to make sure we select the required portion and then we will actually name using the techniques say let's name this proportion as here so in order to name this entire range what we need to do before naming we need to select the area so the selection is completed and we see our desired portion is selected and after that we have one name box which is at the top left corner if we click there we see it's editable and we can write our desired name in the name box and we can hit enter if we hit enter whenever we are selecting this entire proportion we can see the name of this area is here we also can validate this stuff by using one technique if we write equals here <coughs> we can see our desired portion is selected so we can tell that our naming is perfect Now let's make this selection area named as skin. In order to do that, once again select the portion which we want to name and after that move to the name box, click there and change the name as skin and then hit enter we also can validate skin if we write we see our desired portion is named perfectly this is actually just one column we also can give name to tables like this here we have one table let's make this table named as grade now in order to do that let's select the table and put it as grade if we hit equals grade we see it's actually we made some mistake in the selection the selected area is actually not the area we desire we have some blank areas so what happened actually we mistakenly named the area all we need to do we need to change it we need to rectify the mistake in order to rectify the mistake 
of wrong names we need to go to formula tab inside the formula tab we have one option called name manager if we click here we see we have all the defined names so skin hair and grade we see the grade is wrong so all we can do select the grade and delete after delete deleting that one hit close let's actually <coughs> name this table perfectly one thing we need to remember whenever we are naming the table we don't want to name the top row so we just want the value area to be named so select the value area go to the name box put our name as great hit enter and we can validate by looking into our selected area is selected so thus we can actually name our desired ranges so three name we gave here skin and grade perfectly and we I also gave you one example if we mistakenly name some range how to delete that 